Hi Tara Bumblebees, it's Ethany. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have got a new deck to share with you. It is the Painted Tarot. Now I found this deck on Instagram and the creator sent me a deck. I'm a very lucky little duck. And it's come all the way from England. And I also got these really beautiful postcards as well. So I'm going to switch over the cameras and we're going to discover this deck together. Okay, so I've just switched over cameras and I have a new setup today. I was doing some photos, so this is all looking very lovely. So hopefully everything stays in focus. I just can't see my screen, but we're just going to fingers crossed and hope. Uh, so I'm going to be going now through the Painted Tarot by Sophie McKay Knight. And look at these absolutely stunning postcards that she sent to me. <gasps> Lovers. I can't wait to send these out. I do a lot of pen pal uh, work and I could make these into pockets, you know, little library pockets, put some vellum on here, There's, or just send them out as postcards. So I'm really looking forward to using those. So I'm gonna open up the box. So it comes in this tuck box, little keepsake box. And we have a little a little um, what's it called fold out and now we jump into the actual tarot cards now um, I don't know I should probably have looked so it doesn't look like there's an actual guide but a lot of it looks like it is very based on right away Smith sort of what's it called imagery oh my gosh words today Anthony the back oh I love the back oh I think there's nothing quite so beautiful and a, a really lovely like paint splattered palette or floor or something it's I don't know there's just something about that quite a lot the fool oh that hummingbird look at the little hummingbird the aces so the ace of coins I think these are so gorgeous. I really love the, the just Sophie's style of painting is gorgeous. Wands, it's the alchemist for the magician, high priestess. And then we're going into the twos now because this has been done by file name, the print. We have very clear, um, numbers and we can see that it's the cups so no oh this one's beautiful there's no full titles but you can see the swords there the pentacles do we miss one two of cups the high priestess interesting my two of uh, wands maybe it'll show up with we can't all right so the high priestess Sorry, the Empress, that's so gorgeous. Three of Cups, yeah, interesting. Hmm. Three of Swords. Three of Wands. Yeah, these are all in, they must be like in here somewhere. I'm sure they will, <laughs> once I've gone through it all, so four. Oh, they're so beautiful. I love the really gorgeous, um, almost, well, quite solid background colours on all of these as it really draws your attention to the, the art. I literally just got this out of the box, so I don't, you know, if I didn't know to, like, sit down and put it all in order. So I will want to do that after... That is so beautiful. And the Nine of Pentacles is one of my favorite cards. Oh, look at these kings, the black and white. Because, I found the other king. Um, kings do tend to see things in their sort of respected realms or suits as more black and white. And the knights, they're so gorgeous. So you can see this is a mixed media painted deck, which I am 110% here for. Oh, 
she's got so beautiful then the pages and as you can see like the coins all have this like mustard so the page the cups have that blue the swords have the black and the wands have the red and now the queens they're so gorgeous. Sophie's done such a beautiful job. I feel like with a lot of mixed media art, I feel like I kind of just want to dive into them and kind of, because there's so many layers in just the artwork alone and how long it takes to create it. Just gorgeous. Five of Swords. Oh, so that wasn't the Lovers. That's the Lovers. Oh, this chariot is beautiful. Simply stunning. Another one of my favourites, the Eight of Cups. I like how as we're going as well that there's that wash that grays. I like that there's been these grays, black and whites all the way through. Mm, that's beautiful too with the money on the mind and the work on the mind. Oh, that wheel. I feel like this would be such a beautiful, perfect deck for counseling for people who are maybe a little afraid of tarot or aren't. 100% sure about it because oh this temperance because like it's just exquisite like it's obviously I feel that there's a big feminine energy in this and that makes sense because of the creator um but I oh I want to work with this immediately <laughs> this deck it's so beautiful we found our two of wands Oh, look at that. The five of pentacles, the snowflakes almost like, you know, because the Rider Waite Smith, the person is, the people are outside the church and it's snowing. So gorgeous. Sophie's done such a beautiful job. So this deck came all the way from the UK. Um, it did get sent last year in 2020, but because of COVID and no planes, anywhere that kind of thing it took quite a long while to get here but it got here thank goodness and it was well worth the wait it's really beautiful the cardstock is a nice thick 400 gsm i'd say if it's definitely not flimsy it's a nice cardstock it is a larger sized deck so it reminds me of the size of my modern love deck oh look at that strength card it's borderless which i really really like as i mentioned the 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 title sort of um well the new numer roman numerals aren't oppressive they aren't um something that takes away from the art and they're just gorgeous really beautiful Well, Sophie, you did an exquisite job. I'm just going to give them a bit of a shuffle. So I don't have massive hands. Um, so it is a bigger deck. I, I like, you've heard me also this a million times. I don't mind working with bigger decks at all. It shuffles well. It, because it is nice, thick cardstock, it might be a little bit um, hard for some people to handle. But I know there are different ways of shuffling that you can definitely use so don't be afraid to you know get amongst it what a stunner of a deck <laughs> the devil came up of course it did so this has been the painted tarot by sophie mckay knight and i will pop in the description box below where you can go and support her work and get yourself a copy i can't wait to start reading with this i was already getting quite a intuitive hit off of this deck. Um, what a stunner. Uh, and I'll see you all next time.